Yes, actually, you, you are right. Kenyatta University is one of the leading universities in, in this region now. Uh, although it is about 22 years old, since 1985, it's more than actually. Uh, it was established in 1985 by a charter as the second university in this country. Uh, in uh, 2008, the School of Engineering and Technology was established to run both engineering programs and the computing and information technology uh, studies. And um, within the university are 17 schools and several directorates and a few campuses, both in this country, in other cities, and a few offshore in other countries. Um, we also um, have four divisions in the university to support the, the, the vice chancellor in running the university as directed by the council of the university and uh, guided by the law. But with respect to engineering and technology, we, we, we run seven engineering programs, including mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, civil engineering, petroleum uh, engineering. Um, we also run biomedical engineering and aerospace engineering. And uh, in terms of IT, we run computer science program uh, and uh, information technology program. And also we have an energy technology uh, program at both undergraduate and postgraduate levels. And IT, we are also having the same. Mm -hmm. For engineering programs, we are now developing reputable uh, postgraduate programs. We collaborate with several other universities globally. Uh, we collaborate with the University of Pisa in Italy, who support us in biomedical engineering, and other universities in the US and the UK um, and uh, Africa. Um, we are, in terms of engineering, we are members of the Africa Engineering Dean's Council and the Global Engineering Dean's Council, where you are uh, other African and global engineering deans are members. Uh, one of the core areas of, uh, in terms of information technology is to take the lead role and collaborate with other universities in terms of uh, ensuring cloud computing and the IT infrastructure uh, to support our research areas. Yes. And hosting this SIGIA program is one of the um, milestones towards this direction. And we thank the organizers and the funder, who is the EU, for identifying Kenyatta University to collaborate with us. I'm sure you saw this morning, the entire management was, was present during the opening session. We take it very, very seriously. And uh, opening, open science is critical so that science must be brought to the community, which is one of the core visions and missions of this university.